Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel Yushi Talks and today we are going to talk about a student athlete who sparked national change after being disqualified from a volleyball match for wearing hijab. We have a lot of details around this news. Please continue to watch this video and also subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. A U.S. high school volleyball players no longer need approval to wear religious head coverings during matches thanks to a 14-year-old Muslim player who inspired the rule change. The National Federation of State High School Association, which sets competition rules for most high school reports, announced on Thursday and the new, uh, uh, this new rule and said it could extend to other sports as well. Support for the rule change swelled in September after Naja Akil, a freshman at Baylor Collegiate Prep in Nashville, Tennessee, was disqualified from a volleyball match for wearing a hijab or headscarf. A, ref a referee refused her to play, uh, citing a casebook rule that requires athletes who wear a hijab to be granted authorization from the Tennessee Secondary School Athletic Association. Naja said that she did not have the authorization, but this wasn't an issue in previous matches. Faced with the choice to remove her hijab or sit out the match, Naja decided not to play. Most Muslim women who wear the hijab only remove it in the presence of other women or immediate family members. I am really humbled and happy that I got to change the rule for volleyball players across the country, Naja told. I hope this will make sure that no one else who wears religious headwear or play and plays sport will have to go through what I did. So at the time of incident, Naja said she was very angry and sad and felt singled out for her religious belief. NFHS Volleyball Rule 416 stated that hair devices made of soft material and no more than 3 inches wide may be worn in the hair or on the head because Naja's hijab was much larger than allowable 3 inches she needed state association approval to play. Naja and her family has worked with the TSSAA, NFHS American Muslim Advisory Council to change the rule. In October, NFHS approved a proposal for each sport rules con uh, committee to consider that would allow players to wear religious head coverings unless deemed a safety risk to the wearer or other participants without prior approval from state associations. So that's all we have in today's news. Please continue to watch this space for more news and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching me. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.